think one of my strongest emotion was when they came back with the record, I felt like we were a completely functioning unit again. It was just really, really articulated beautifully and, and really had a really strong Graham essence over it, you know, which was fantastic. I was really, really proud of what he did. For me, one of the interesting things lyrically about working on this record was that, what do I sing about? All the sort of lyrical snippets that were on the record that have been given back to me, so to speak, by Graham, were all from experiences while working in Hong Kong. I became completely immersed, retracing my steps, just thinking about everything, about every, anything emotion I'd ever had about Hong Kong. I remember flashbacks lying in our magic way. Myself in Hong Kong, it started to, to take on dystopian levels of personal isolation and, and, and angst and fear. You know, the way that the insanely claustrophobic city can induce a sort of a spacey, dreamlike state in you. incredibly frenetic place because it's just it's sort of going so fast that that, that it sort of slows down and becomes really interesting <laughs> there's a lot of these escalators so you don't have to walk up any of the steep hills anymore so you, you can almost sort of be completely static and it's, so you're in a dream this possibility of escape you just have to get on the star ferry and you can go to these most divine islands and there's there's hundreds of them <laughs> geographic thing. I suppose it goes back to songs like Waterloo Sunset or, uh, you know, the Beatles. I think anything, I just like, I like those sort of meditations on, on, on quite prosaic things, you know. <laughs> effect on me when I was younger was Patrick Hamilton's Hangover Square. It's that juxtaposition of a hangover in a square. I've always been enthralled by that, that, those kind of sorts of those sort of ideas. <laughs> There's strong links with Britain and British culture but at the same time it, it, it's it's plugged into something completely incomprehensible. It's really exciting, it's really modern. It's beautiful, frenetic, mental, amazing food. I mean, thank goodness we didn't get stuck in Dusseldorf.